Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of May 8th through the 14th. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising signs. Very interesting spread, Libra. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Five of Wands. So just take caution with this. For some of you, this is energy you're leaving behind. So maybe this is with you when I'm filming this reading. Uh, for some of you, you're moving away from this energy. Fives can represent a challenging energy. The Five of Wands can be anything from internal conflicts or struggles to dealing with some competition around you, butting heads with someone, having differences can be, you know, arguing over very, very petty and significant things. You know, and what's really interesting, Libra, is the overall energy for this week is the Four of Pentacles, which can be a stubborn energy. So there could be some Librans that maybe, <laughs> maybe um, there could have been a conflict. Um, or a small argument with the Five of Wands, it's something petty. But maybe there are some Librans that maybe you're being a little stubborn when it comes to this, or you're dealing with someone who is incredibly stubborn. Um, you know, this can always go both ways. Um, watch your communication, definitely. We also have the Ace of Swords here in the spread, so I feel like some of you need to watch your communication. Don't add fuel to any fires. With the, with the Four of Pentacles being the overall energy, you know, financially I see it actually being a really good week for you. For some of you, you're coming through a little bit more conservative. Uh, you could definitely be trying to save your money. Um, but also this can represent holding out and, and maybe waiting on, on someone or something. So for some of you, I think that you're waiting on a decision or waiting on some sort of communication. Now this could be on the financial front with the Five of Wands. There, there could be some Librans that you're dealing with some competition or maybe even some jealousy within the workplace. Um, because communication is definitely very, very significant this week. So again, watch your communication. Yeah, there could be a situation involving three people. This could be within the workplace, but also this might have something to do with friends, you know, business partners, really any anybody. But we have two threes here. So there definitely could be a situation involving three people. So just take caution with that. So maybe there are some Librans that you're butting heads with. You could be butting heads with a group of people for a small number of you. And then for some other Librans, this is actually really positive because we have the Two of Wands with the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups is a card of celebrations. It is a more social, nice, lighter, emotional energy here. So something you were planning for with the Two of Wands something you've thought a lot about could be something you're very passionate about but it's something you've been planning for i feel like there's some sort of progress that is taking place with this so this is some sort of growth or or progress some sort of expansion that's taking place here so something could be getting off the ground something could be taking root or for some of you you know maybe this is your ships coming in but this is really positive for some of you could be going out and celebrating this with the page of wands here this could be that exciting news or communication that's coming through and often with the page of wands for me uh, especially with this deck this is some sort of news or communication that you've had to wait on so for some of you you're finally maybe starting to see things uh, move forward there's at least some sort of growth some sort of progress here now you do have two twos here as well. So we have um, the two of wands with the two of swords. So there certainly could be a partnership of some kind uh, that is quite significant this week, but also there could be a decision. So for some Librans, maybe, maybe you've been waiting on a decision and now for some of you this could be that news or that decision coming through but then you know for some other librans i feel like news is coming in it's actually very very positive 
and you're seeing some sort of progress, but maybe something hasn't fully manifested just yet, but you're seeing some sort of progress. Uh, but communication is definitely very significant with this Ace of Swords. And then you do have two pages here as well. So for some of you, you know, this is something exciting that you're hearing about. But then also, you know, with this Page of Pentacles, it could be on the financial front. For other Librans, it might have something to do with, you know, a home or business matters, family matters. Uh, there could be some Librans that maybe you're trying to sell your house. Um, maybe you're trying to buy a house. Yeah, for some of you, I feel like, you know, maybe you're waiting on selling your home. Or maybe waiting on some sort of news here. Um, and again, with this Four of Pentacles, it can be a little bit more of a stubborn energy. So for some of you, with this Five of Wands, it could be something more internal. So for some of you, it's almost like... You know, you have your eye on the prize. You know exactly what it is that you want. And so this is you. I feel like you're not budging. Some of you, you're not budging, you know, and you're waiting for something in particular. And I think you know you're going to be successful. With this Ace of Swords, you know, this is success. This is victory. But it's victory after going down a very long road with lots of challenges. So for some of you, you've dealt with some challenges, but this is you actually moving towards success. In the meantime, uh, because for some of you, you know, that success could be coming in this week, but then for some other Librans, I feel like you're still waiting for something to fully manifest. So in the meantime, you know, stay out of your head, stay positive. We have the, the Nine of Swords here underneath the Ace of Swords. So stay positive. Um, try not to worry. With the Nine of Swords, it can be someone who's really worrying uh, and it's causing them some some sleepless nights. So needing to take care of yourself. For some of you, maybe you need to speak your truth. Maybe you need to cut ties um, from some sort of relationship here with the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords. It could be a relationship, something that's maybe no longer serving you. Now that could be on the romantic front, but that also might have something to do with like a business partnership or maybe even a friendship for some of you. For some of you, maybe you need to speak your truth and just free yourself from that that no longer serves you. For, for some of you, it might be just simply your negative thoughts or your worry, needing to free yourself from, from that. Um, but news is definitely coming in. News is definitely coming in for, for many of you. Um, with this Page of Pentacles, this could be some sort of financial offer, uh, some sort of opportunity that you need to make a decision about in regards to this. So financially and emotionally, you know, I see it actually being a really positive week for you. For some of you, you're definitely going to be getting out and about. You're definitely going to be social. Um, with the two pages here, for some of your children might be very significant this week. You know, you're making plans for you and, and your child or your children. Uh, and overall, I do think it's going to be uh, a good week for, for you. Uh, and it is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. All right, so I am switching it up. I'm using a different deck. This is my daily guidance from your Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Additional guidance for Libra. There could be some Librans that you're even waiting on, maybe some sort of document, something to be signed. Again, some of you are maybe trying to sell a house. There could be some Librans that you have some something legal that's ongoing. But I feel like you're really, really close. You're really close to this victory. Uh, and, and many of you, you're seeing progress with whatever this is. You're seeing some sort of progress. There's news that's coming in this week. It's very positive. All right, additional guidance for Libra. There we go. Oh, you actually have two cards, Libra. Wow, look at this. We have, so we have new partner. A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Wow. 
So for some Librans, you're getting into a new relationship. This is beautiful. And maybe you're meeting this person this week. If not, this person is on their way. This is wonderful. And when you meet them, there's going to be this uh, familiar feeling. This person, you're going to be very comfortable around this person. And then we do have daydream. Uh, you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as you were as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. Wow. So for some of you, you need to daydream. And if you do, you actually will be receiving a lot of messages from spirit. And, you know, I feel because these cards came out together, when you do, Libra, meet this person, you are going to have dreams about them. For some of you, you know, it can be a daydream, but I, I get dream, all sorts of dreams. So for some of you, you will have actual dreams about this person. You're going to know that this person was uh, sent to you. Uh, so this is wonderful. Really, really nice Libra. So I do hope that you found this reading helpful. Uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And again, happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Take care.